Hey YouTubers, Mike Bors with the Mike Bors channel. Thank you for watching. If you're joining us from the previous video where we talked about the actual blower motor resistor and what it does, glad to have you. If you haven't checked that out, definitely check that out. It talks more about this actual part and its entire purpose in your heating system. So in this video, what we're going to do is actually show you the step-by-step -step process on how to remove the old blower motor resistor and install the new blower motor resistor. And we chose a Duralas from AutoZone. And your vehicle, in most cases, they're all engineered very, very similar. And your blower resistor is almost 100% located in the exact same place. As you can see, the conditions outside are very snowy, very cold. So it's kind of important that we get this blower resistor fixed inside the vehicle now and here is exactly what is going on it's off we switch it to low nothing low medium nothing and high medium the blower now works on to high as you can see the blower picks up and blows out high speed back down to medium high and medium low it completely stops working low off so by replacing this resistor it will fix the low the medium low and continue operating the medium high as well as high. And the location that the blower resistor is, is underneath the passenger dash up under the bottom portion where the feet go. Safety first, always pop the hood and remove the negative terminal from your battery because we are going to be working with electrical connection points with this resistor. Grab a 10 millimeter socket and slowly loosen up that 10 millimeter nut until you can remove this negative cable. And make sure you set it in a position where it's not going to accidentally hop back onto the terminal while you're working. On the passenger side now, going below, and in most cases, your resistor will be readily accessible and very easy to get to. However, in ours, we have a plastic cover that covers all the electrical wiring underneath the glove box. And this is for safety purposes. It won't allow your feet to get tangled up in those wires, as well as won't allow those wires to get wet if you've got shoes with snow on them. So what we'll do is we'll remove this plastic cover and we'll gain access to where the blower motor resistor is. And what we have here is a flathead screwdriver tip. And we are going to use this to carefully and safely remove that plastic cover by positioning this where the connection tabs are and slowly shifting this down to release that cover. As you can see, we removed one tab and there is an additional tab on the opposite side. So the cover is now off. Let's go underneath and take a look what's under there. In our case, it is located on the left side. As you can see here, it's secured by one Phillips screw on the right side, an additional Phillips screw on the left side, and you can see the electrical wiring. First thing we wanna do is remove the electrical connection point from the resistor. This part can be a little tricky. I wanna point out this little tab right here. As you push that tab forward or in and hold it, at the same time you're pressing that tab in, you also want to shift this electrical connection point down. You needed both hands to do it. We'll get the electrical wiring out of the way and shift our focus to those two Phillips screws. Let's go ahead and remove those and then we can lower that entire resistor out of the slot. The mini Phillips screwdriver worked perfectly. Those are the two Phillips screws. All right, there's the old blower motor resistor. Let's toss this and go grab the new one. We purchased the Duralast brand from AutoZone. Here is the brand new blower motor resistor. We are going to reverse the steps and insert it the exact same way we took it out. Think back to when we actually removed the electrical connection point. That plastic tab was facing toward us. So as we insert this up into the slot, this is exactly how it will look as we insert it. This side will be facing back and this side will be facing forward. Once you get it into position, you will have to hold it in place and insert one of the Phillips screws to secure it. As I was down there trying to reinsert the Phillips screws, I was very nervous about dropping one of them behind the actual floor mat and losing it forever. So I carefully backed the floor mat out of the actual slots that it rides up against and secures itself. And that gave me a lot more access to the bottom side of the resistor, which allowed us to very conveniently insert those Phillips screws and tighten them down. As you can see here, the resistor is secure. Now it's time to reconnect the electrical connection point. And you want to push it in until you hear it click. At that point, you will know that it is secure and not going to come loose. I'm now going to reposition the actual floor mat and carpet back behind this portion and into place. And it's held in on the back side by Velcro. So I just want to stick it to the Velcro points. Let's grab the plastic cover and re-secure it. Make sure you position this cover where all three connection points are aligned. Oh, 
Let's head back up to the engine and reconnect the negative terminal of the battery. Negative terminal is secure on the battery. Now the most exciting part of the project, let's go see if the blower works in all settings. Low, medium low, medium high, and high. Turn the key to the on position without starting the engine. Now let's move the knob to low. I hear it. Medium low. Medium high. High. Back down to medium high. Back down to medium low. Back down to low. And off. That is awesome. Everything works. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hey, do us a favor. Below this video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Because once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us. And that will be awesome. Thanks again for watching.